Harold Defoy. Welcome to In the Community. Today we are visiting with Holly Nash, and Holly is a part of the Oxnard chapter of Seroptimus International, and she's been with us before, and we want to welcome you back, Holly. Thank you, Bill. It's a pleasure to be here, and thank you so much for having us. Oh, you're more than welcome. Now, if you would tell us, Holly, a little bit about uh, Seroptimus and what they're all about. Absolutely. Seroptimist is an international service organization, uh, primarily for women. And our, our mission statement is women helping women and girls through empowerment and education. And it's a worldwide outreach in many, many different ways. Uh, we do um, stop trafficking. We do uh, uh, cancer awareness. And, and raise money for different projects. Uh, we work with uh, some nonprofits. We do service work. Uh, we do a lot of different things that uh, help us locally in the community or help the local community, as well as helping internationally. Uh, we've actually been working with um, uh, a group in, in uh, Kenya recently who uh, we have been sending uh, funds to to help them with some of their projects. Uh, they are finally able to just get water nearby. Uh, they are finally able to just get uh, the ability to grow their own crops. So those are some of the, the outreaches we have, both locally and internationally. Wonderful. Now, you, you hit upon a couple of areas, and we're going to explore one more in depth. But human trafficking, I know that we have spoken with one of your other members, uh, Debbie Golke, yes. who's very, very involved in that. But just for our purposes here today, perhaps you can explain just a little bit and kind of scratch the surface, if you would. Tell us about what human trafficking is all about. Well, the human trafficking is, gosh, it can be uh, anything from uh, a family member uh, a young girl who is being basically um, sold for sex by a family, another family member. It could be a, a pimp who has many girls uh, that work for him. Uh, so the human trafficking, we think of it as more an international issue, but very recently we've had some uh, some. Um, Ring, a ring, well, one in particular, a ring busted, if you will, locally here in uh, Ventura and Camarillo. So it is a local problem as well as internationally. You would think that even on this kind of a level here locally, you, you don't think of it in your own backyard. You would think of it mm -hmm. somewhere else, maybe Vegas or Los Angeles. But when it happens right here in your own backyard in Ventura County, that says something. It does, and, and that's part of what we like to do is, is get the awareness out there that it is a local problem. Um, next March, we will have, each year in March, but next March we will be having an event where we do a local march, uh, actually against trafficking. Then we go to a venue and have speakers come in, and usually the speakers, at least one of them, is someone who's come out of that life sharing their story and it, it can be extremely emotional to just and heartbreaking to hear these stories but it's an awareness and we pack the rooms i believe it now today we're going to be talking about another area that the seroptimists are involved with and october is breast cancer awareness month correct and with that being said breast cancer in both men and women women primarily, but men also suffer from it Absolutely. as well. What kind of things do you want to tell people in terms of educational value that they can take away from us today to help them on the path to recognizing and getting treatment for possible breast cancer? Uh, very good question. One of the things that is essential is to get that annual mammogram. Um, and, at my age, uh, I have to get one every year. Um, younger women don't need it unless they, as often unless they have a particular issue. Uh, but definitely, it is something to not fool around with. Um, it is essential to get that 
uh, breast cancer kills. And if it can be caught because you went and took your mammogram, had your mammogram done, you went and did that, uh, it can be caught at an early stage, it can save your life. So it is essential. I heard a statistic this last week with the announcement by actress uh, Julia Dreyfus yes. that she has breast cancer and she was saying one in eight women are going to be diagnosed in a given day having breast cancer. And isn't that a phenomenal statistic? That is. Yeah. yeah. And the idea is to get diagnosed early mm -hmm. and get into treatment early so that they won't have to go through, say, a, a mastectomy or a double mastectomy. It's something where women need to be really aware of their bodies. Absolutely. As you said, men and women, but particularly it affects women uh, more often. Um, and, you know, the mammogram, we complain because we go in and we get a little squished and, you know, a little uncomfortable, but good grief. It's worth it. <laughs> <laughs> And, you know, one of the things that I'm also, you know, aware of, uh, doctors will say for women, self-examination. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, I go to my doctor and she says, do you do self-examination? And I say, well, not really. <laughs> I'm honest, honest with, with her, <laughs> yes. And, uh, you know, so, you know, she encourages me to do that. And uh, so I'm trying to get better about that particular thing. Well, being that it is October and Breast Cancer Awareness Month, yes. the Seroptimists do this every year, and it's a wonderful event, and it's called? Bras for a Cause. All right. So tell us a little bit about Bras for a Cause. We've got some mannequins in the background yes. here that uh, we'll be highlighting in a little bit. Um, the event is going to be held when, where, time, and all of that. All right. Uh, the event is called Bras for a Cause. It is put on by the Seroptimus International of Oxnard Club. Uh, it will be held October 22nd, and it will be held at the Pacific Corinthian Yacht Club uh, in Oxnard and in Channel Islands, technically. Um, we have tickets for sale online. You can go to our website, just oxnardseroptimus.org. Um, and, and you can purchase your tickets right there. It's a great afternoon. It's a Sunday afternoon. Uh, what we do is we have lunch. Uh, we have the highlight are these fun bras, these mannequins that are uh, all themed and have really fun things that go along with them, like wine or things like that. Um, and this is really our, our whole push is to, we chose mannequins because of the breast cancer awareness. And uh, it's just, it's a delightful event. Um, you, your ticket is $50 and uh, that gives you your lunch and a couple of drink tickets. We do serve wine and sodas and everything else. And it's, it, just imagine a room full of 25 of these wildly decorated mannequins and we auction them off. And that's why you raise money. Silent auctions are part of this as well. Yes, we have silent auctions and we also have uh, drawings where we have people roaming the room selling you raffle tickets and you put your raffle tickets in to choose the basket or, or uh, item that you want. Uh, so it's just, it's a fun day. We do have speakers as well. Um, this particular year, we are going to have Amy Johnson, who is a, a news anchor um, in LA. And uh, we are excited to have her as one of our speakers. Our second speaker, we um, hope will be a recipient of the Comfort Care Kits. Uh, comfort care kits are, can I go into that? Yes, let's go into that. <laughs> I know that we don't have one, but I know about the comfort care kits. We've talked about them. But for people that are not aware of what a comfort kit is, this is something you put together for those individuals diagnosed with breast cancer, and perhaps they've gone through a mastectomy. They need some goodies to help them along. So why Absolutely. don't you tell us what's in the kit? I'd love to. Uh, the, a portion of our... 
of our uh, profits go to fund these comfort kits. And we call it a comfort kit because that's what it's designed for. It's comfort for uh, a woman who has had a mastectomy and is now heading home. Uh, it's not really for in the hospital. It's for after she goes home because she probably doesn't know what she needs. Uh, so we have things like a, a customized t-shirt where it has Velcro down the front and uh, pockets on the inside because she will probably have one or two drainage tubes. And so there's a place for her tubes so she doesn't have to figure out what to do with them. The reason we have the Velcro is because it's difficult to raise your arm after you've had a mastectomy. So we want to make it as easy and comfortable as we can. As far as the, the kit, uh, we have things like, oh, socks and stationery and um, trying to think there's so many goodies, uh, little teddy bears and a specialized pillow to put under the arm uh, to help alleviate the weight of the arm on the surgery, the, the place of the surgery. Um, gosh, they're just uh, things like hand lotion and uh, just a myriad of things, chapstick. I mean, a myriad of things that you might not have at home, you might not know that you need or want. Uh, we've done a ton of research and come up with this kit, and uh, it's just been so well received. I believe we've handed out so far um, 139 wow, in the three years that we've been doing this project. And we worked through St. John's Cancer Center in Oxnard. They are the county um, cancer center. And so we work directly with them, have a great relationship with them. And it's just a, such an exciting, important project. And within the organization and putting together those comfort kits, I would take it that the ladies of the Seroptimus will spend an evening or two putting together those kits in advance of somebody facing surgery. Yes, yes. And, and the biggest project really is the, uh, the T-shirt. Um, we have actually built teams. We have a, a head, head person, and she is fabulous. She just has taken this project to her heart. And break, we break up the, the club into teams, and then we all have specific um, tasks. Some sew, um, some cut. Uh, you know, so, so we, we do all work together in our teams to get specifically these Sounds like I'm going into the Ford factory to watch a Model A or a Model <laughs> T. You've probably got this assembly line going Absolutely. On. We have done that many times. <laughs> well, let's talk a little bit about the bras behind us here. Yes. I'm noticing that we have one that's decorated in pink. Tell us a little bit about that ah, one. Yes, love to. Uh, it does have some uh, of the cancer emblems on it. Right. Uh, pink is, if you're not aware, the, the color for October for cancer, breast cancer awareness. And so to reflect that in one of these mannequins is just a, a neat idea to be able to bring it home. And, and really, you know, we, we have so many different types of, I, actually each bra is completely different. Um, Many are made by members of the club, and many are brought in people who you know we we work with or the members work with to have them made. And uh, but they're all hand done. They're, there's nothing um, bought as is, or you know we we it's a project. We do this individually, and uh, so they're they're all different. They're I mean anyone could find one that they like because they are all. <laughs> individual, amazing, all themed, uh, just so fun. We, I believe it was last year, had one that was Mickey Mouse. So it was Mickey Mouse, and then we have a lot of things that go along with them. Uh, one was tickets to Disneyland. Wow. So, you know, you can really get some value, and we have bid sheets, and you just bid, bid for the bra. So. Now, another one behind us is one that's decorated in black. Yes. That is from a, a movie-based bra. It is. Bra. So it tell is. us about that one. Uh, the black one, it's kind of behind me here, uh, is uh, the Black Swan from the movie The Black Swan. And uh, that movie just kind of um, 
I found it fascinating. It's kind of a study of the of the uh, whole psyche and and pressure and how it can turn you from maybe good to bad kind of thing. Uh, and so I was touched by the black swan. So we have a black swan. You have one that's yellow and it's yes. decorated with sunflowers. Yes. Um, yes, the person that did that is actually my daughter uh, who lives in Kansas. I was not aware that Kansas had fabulous sunflowers during the summer. I've only been there in the winter. <laughs> oh, my. I, and so she has decorated one uh, that's all Kansas sunflowers. So it's really fun. All right, another one that's decorated in blue. Yes. And that is the uh, jasmine um, from the uh, animated movie. And so uh, that'll appeal to, uh, to people who love the movie, have granddaughters who love the movie, that kind of thing. And the last one that you have behind us is one that's decorated in all kinds of beads and yes. things. So yes. tell us about that one. Well, uh, that one's titled uh, Pearlized. They all have a title. And uh, it was something that was on uh, Pinterest, of all things, and uh, was just a, an inspiration to do a bra like that. And uh, just wanted to be a little classy and fun. Wonderful. Now, this is just really a sampling of the bras that will be on display and up for auction yes. at the event. Yes, we'll have close to 25 to choose from and to bid on and to take home. And, Wonderful. Uh, yes, I know there's going to be a, a, a fall one, so you might want that for decoration for your house for the fall. So uh, yeah, there's a lot of really I remember rugs. in years past you had one that was a, a Christmas theme. And yes. Christmas, you know, I hate to say it, but it is right around right the corner. Right around the corner. <laughs> and so, you know, you're gonna have all kinds of themes and different types of uh, bras that will be up, like you say, for auction, and yes. people can bid on them and enjoy some goodies that come along with each of the bras. Yes, yes. And, you know, you'll enjoy a fabulous lunch. Uh, the Pacific Corinthian Yacht Club does a great job, and they work with us. Uh, we love going there, and it's just a wonderful venue where it's all glass, and you just look out on the boats. And oh, that is wonderful. It's, it's a picturesque. Yes. Um, scene and you'd like to say got the boats in the background yeah. and just the atmosphere being absolutely there. it yes. is just wonderful all right so holly to wrap things up yes tell us about the event one more time how much are tickets where can they get them website presence and all of that great uh thank you uh it's called bras for a cause and you can go to our website oxnardseroptimist.org you can purchase your tickets online uh, there's a donate button. You just go through there, and there's a, a place to put what you're uh, doing, what you're buying. Uh, the tickets are $50. You can also contact me. Let me give you my phone number, 805-218-4322. Feel free to call me if you're interested in attending. Uh, we would love to have you. Uh, we actually have some folks coming from... Uh, the San Luis Obispo area, uh, just for this event, wow. for fun, uh, and uh, it, it, I just, you know, we've talked a lot about women. Um, I have to tell you, there's a lot of men that are going to be there as well, and uh, we, we, um, we don't, it's not just a girl party, you know. Uh, the speakers are serious about what they're saying, their message is serious. Um, you know, it, it's, I stress the fun because it is, but there's a serious message that goes along with it. And so uh, we have not only the fun, but the, the content as well. Uh, so tickets are $50. Uh, you have the phone number, the website. Uh, again, it's at the Pacific Corinthian Yacht Club in Channel Islands. And the time, I didn't say the time, on October 22nd, 1 to 4.30. And it is a lunch, so we'd love to have you attend. Wonderful. Holly, always a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much, Bill. And thank you for joining us. I'm Bill Before You've been watching In the Community, a production of the Heritage Media Group. <laughs>